Okay, here's something we haven't done before. Uh, a review of the Watchtower. July the 1st, 2009, right up to date. Uh, this was given out outside uh, a train station. I think it was today or yesterday, so this is obviously their most current edition. And uh, the Watchtower, for those that don't know, are the Jehovah's Witnesses. Uh, it says here they are announcing Jehovah's Kingdom. And the Lord Jesus said his kingdom wasn't of this world. So that's an interesting statement to make. Uh, some years ago I was in Israel and I was talking to a, a gentleman who uh, was a Seventh-day Adventist. And uh, like myself, he'd been raised in a Catholic church and had come out, but uh, unfortunately gone into uh, another false religion. Most people, when they leave organized religion, uh, normally drift into the cults or the Charismatics or the Pentecostals. But most people, uh, experience has shown me, go into the cults. And the Jehovah's Witnesses are a cult, and they are also organized religion. And uh, hopefully I'll be able to elaborate on that as I go through this. Uh, purpose of this magazine. The Watchtower is to honor, American spelling, Jehovah God, the supreme ruler uh, of the universe. No mention of Jesus Christ. Isn't that amazing? Uh, Paul says that Jesus didn't think it robbery to be equal with God. And here, here you find already they are downgrading Jesus. Uh, uh, just as watchtowers in ancient times enabled a person to observe developments from afar, so this magazine shows us the significance of world events. And there you go. It promotes faith in Jesus Christ, who died so that we might gain everlasting life. And who is now ruling as king of God's kingdom. Well that's partly true. Uh, Jesus is ruling. He's at the right hand of God. And the kingdom of God is split up into two parts. There's the physical kingdom. Which every Bible believing uh, true Christian is a part of. And then there's the spiritual part of it. Which is in heaven. We're going to that now. It's a bit of a deep subject. But uh, if you didn't know your Bible... Uh, if you stumbled across these people, you might think they were Christians, but I'm afraid they are not. Here's a woman. We'll find a bit more about her uh, as we go along. The Jehovah's Witnesses are also a charitable status. Uh, so they're quite happy to take money from uh, the world system. Uh, what have we got here? Can the Bible be understood? There's a guy called Stephen in Britain. Went to church every Sunday, didn't understand his Bible. Woman from Spain, Catholic from Australia. And of course these people are going to tell you that they have the keys and that they are capable of teaching the Bible. And only they are capable of teaching the Bible. Typical of most cults, of course. Uh, ask the author for help. It's an interesting statement. Which author are they talking about? Now my thoughts, I'll say up front, that uh, the Jehovah's Witnesses claim that you can only understand the Bible uh, through their lenses. It's interesting. Read with an open mind. But if you question the Watchtower, you're kicked out. And uh, as they believe they are the only people who can understand the Bible and therefore teach it, it uh, is kind of obvious that they are claiming inspiration. So therefore the watchtower is inspired as the word of God is. Because uh, only they are able to give you the scriptures and teach it so on and so forth. There's no way I'm going to read all this text. I haven't got the time uh, nor the interest. And hopefully you won't either. But if you're doing some research into these people. Then it uh, might benefit you to pause this video and take a look because the Jehovah's Witnesses are about six and a half million strong now not as popular as the Mormons but uh, they are nonetheless still a force uh, to be reckoned with they go out on the streets normally in twos but they don't do any street preaching they claim to be Christians but they won't street preach they very much like the word Jehovah now Jehovah uh, is found I think three or four times in the King James Bible the Jews would never call the Lord Jehovah. It's too sacred. 
So they use words like Adonai or Kurios, which is Greek for Lord, but never Jehovah uh, or Elohim or other words. And yet, uh, two, three thousand years later, these so called Christians are content to use the name of Jehovah. And of course, Jehovah is uh, Latin. The correct word, if you're a Jew, would be Yahweh or Yahweh, however you wish to pronounce it, or Elohim. So they got a little problem there with their linguistic department, but uh, they've been told before and they won't listen. So I don't suppose they'll listen to me. Uh, but nonetheless, it's worth mentioning it to those that don't know. Uh, can you find peace in this troubled world? Uh, the Lord Jesus Christ gives you peace, not of this world. Of course, they won't tell you that. Uh, their idea of peace is to join the Kingdom Hall and go along through their system. Uh, now, with all these cults, they do quote scripture. Uh, so, like I said to you a few moments earlier, if you didn't know your Bible, if you were starting from scratch with these people, you would think that they were a Christian organization. A bit like the Mormons, they claim to be born again. And if you saw our video with the Catholics a few days ago, then you know that they also claim to be born again. Uh, when a Catholic says they are born again, that means they have been baptized, baptized into water. Unfortunately, the Apostle Paul said in 1 Corinthians that he wasn't sent to baptize, but to preach the gospel. So clearly baptism doesn't save you. You're saved by your faith in the shed of blood, the precious shed blood of Jesus Christ. And uh, if you're trusting in water baptism, trusting in your good works, then you're not going to be saved, you're going to be lost. Have they found Noah's Ark? Uh, we believe this ministry that Noah's Ark is in Mount Arat, that the Turkish government know where it is. But as you'd imagine, being Islamic, they're not too keen for the world to flock in to find one of the great truths of the Bible. And of course, there they are telling you this. Now, with every organization that's false, uh, for example, they will give you shades of truth. The Catholic Church believe in the Trinity and the deity of Christ. They have that right, uh, but uh, because you get a few points right, doesn't mean everything else you teach is right. And there's Josephus, a uh, Jewish historian. So you've got to check everything in light of scripture. I've said this before on other videos. Uh, just because an organization claims to be Christian doesn't mean that they are. The Lord said that many uh, will come in my name saying, I am Christ, and shall deceive many. And uh, some people take it to be a reference to the Pope, the uh, Popes, the office of the papacy, because uh, they claim uh, to stand in the place of Jesus Christ. As I said at the beginning, this is an organized religion. It's a very wealthy organization. And uh, they have a, a bit of a cheek to slam organized religion when they are in organized religion themselves. Um, and I just want to go back to the beginning of this because I think they made a statement that they are non-political. And uh, that's certainly what their members believe and are told. But uh, for those that don't know and may be interested to learn, they do have an office at the United Nations. Uh, they had it for many years. Whether they still have it today, uh, I'm not 100% sure. But uh, they are more political than they would uh, care for you to know. Of course, I can't find that uh, statement at the moment. So, a lot of text here. Uh, so, I'll just keep moving along. Got a couple more minutes left. Uh, there's a very pretty lady showing you her Awake magazine. Again, you would think it was inspired because uh, without the Awake and the Watchtower, you are very lost. Uh, they have quite a an amazing printing uh, ministry. Frederick France was very much the architect behind that. And uh, if you're interested, I've written an article on the Jehovah's Witnesses, which you may care to look at. I'll link it in the description box. Uh, 
But uh, in essence, the Jehovah's Witnesses believe in two gods. They believe in Jehovah God and uh, Jesus as a created God. So they are polytheist, which they don't like people to call them. But uh, to believe in two gods, you have to be uh, polytheist. And there's a lady from the beginning. Uh, disillusioned with religion, and unfortunately she goes into the Jehovah's Witnesses. And... Uh, there's even more loss now than she was prior to becoming involved with a cult that denies the Lord Jesus Christ, blasphemes his glorious deity, his uh, blood atonement on the cross, and they are in reality teaching uh, a works-based religion. And I've got 20 seconds left, so I will close it now. And uh, if you are involved with the JWs, I hope you get out. And if you're not, in, uh, not involved with the JWs, then I hope you never are involved. Believe in the Lord Jesus Christ, and thou shalt be saved. Okay, I think a more detailed analysis uh, is called for. I've uh, read all through this, and I've uh, picked some areas up which I want to look at today. Uh, first of all, it says that uh, we might gain everlasting life. The Jehovah's Witnesses and other false religions completely misunderstand the plan of salvation you don't gain everlasting life you receive everlasting life there's a big difference uh, like a lot of these works orientated groups it uh, all depends on how good you live after you become a quote unquote Christian or JW or Mormon or a Catholic or whatever so keep that in mind because it's important. Uh, the Bible says that uh, once you have believed on the Lord Jesus Christ, you are sealed. And you're no longer a servant, uh, but you are a friend of the Lord Jesus Christ. Going down, uh, interestingly, they capitalize W for word and not H for his. A lot of Christians do this. Uh, I don't want to be too dogmatic. On this issue but I think when you speak about the Lord it's always good to capitalize uh, H for his just so it sets apart the Lord from normal people and yes I know that the King James does not capitalize the H for his but I think it's helpful when you are writing about the Lord and articulating to others why he stands out more than others now the Holy Spirit is a very misunderstood part of the Godhead uh, within Watchtower theology and I've said it before that the word Trinity does not appear in any Bible but the word Godhead does and uh, the JWs call him uh, the active force so keep that in mind how can you receive God's Holy Spirit you have to ask for it in faith now sometimes the King James speaks of the Holy Spirit as a person and also uh, in a neuter for example Romans chapter 8 the Holy Ghost is spoke of in the neuter dealing primarily with his role uh, in the Christian's life other times He's given a masculine pronoun, so there is a distinction drawn. Whereas in the uh, Watchtower literature, he's always spoken of in the neuter, which is inaccurate. The Holy Spirit is a person, and I've said it before, you can grieve him, you can quench him, and you can also lie to him. Uh, this is interesting. No definitive article here. Jehovah will uh, generously give Holy Spirit. Uh, that's very poor grammar. The Holy Spirit, not just Holy Spirit. That active force, God's Spirit. Each time you sit down to read the Bible, then pro excuse me. Each time you sit down to read the Bible, then pray to God, asking Him for Holy Spirit. Complete misunderstanding of the person of the Holy Spirit. The Lord said that He would convict the world of sin and unrighteousness. Uh, it's the Holy Spirit's job to give the Christian power to live for the Lord Jesus Christ. Uh, accept help from others. Now, the JWs, as I've said before, believe that they are the only true church 
although they don't like the word church, they use the word kingdom hall, which isn't found, by the way, in any Bible, for those that uh, think this is important. Uh, so it's a bit of a, an odd position to take. Help from whom? They say they are genuine followers. But again, a genuine follower, follower of uh, the Lord would believe in the deity of Jesus Christ, would believe in the person of the Holy Spirit. Uh, they say they're true Christians. Philip, an experienced Christian. Philip hadn't been saved very long, by the way, uh, when he was uh, witnessing to the uh, the eunuch. It's important because uh, sometimes you get the impression you have to be saved a very long time before the Lord will use you. It's not always the case. Uh, some interesting bits and pieces here. Uh, they were in over 235 lands. The witnesses voluntarily help others to understand what the Bible really teaches. And uh, do you know one of Jehovah's Witnesses? Why not ask him or her to demonstrate how the study program is conducted? Once again, you have to become a JW. They would say to get all of the truth. But like a Catholic, only the Catholics have the truth, quote unquote. And unless you are a good Catholic, you're not going to make it. Uh, yeah, it's all very commendable, this, uh, to be honest. To love your fellow worshippers, so on and so forth. But the first commandment is to love the Lord thy God. And uh, some of these groups totally miss it. And uh, come from a humanistic position. They deitize man and uh, demote the Lord. Can you find peace in this troubled world? Now, I read through all of this, and if you are an unsaved person watching this video, you need to have peace with God, because uh, the wrath of God abideth upon you. And if you don't believe, then you're condemned already. Uh, Paul says you're an enemy of God. This peace that they speak about in here uh, is primarily taught from position that if you, if you become a witness, then... Uh, life's going to be pretty good and they talk about you know savings in stocks and shares and it's a bit of a bit of a rich statement to make because the Jehovah's Witnesses are a very wealthy organisation I mean they own half of Brooklyn so I don't really understand why they uh, feel they can get away from this problem uh, if we sincerely repent of our sins and ask for forgiveness on the basis of Jesus' sacrifice God will extend forgiveness which contributes to our peace of mind and heart. There is no mention whatsoever in here of sin and of judgment and of course of hell, which isn't surprising because they don't believe in hell anyway. Uh, BCE, before Christian era, I don't like that. I'm a Christian, I say before Christ or AD and Domini, after Christ. That is a secular term to eradicate the fact that uh, as I'm making this video in 2009 is set to when the Lord came to earth Jesus was in heaven before he came to the earth uh, well yes he was but he's from everlasting called to Mike, uh, Micah 5 2 <clears throat> and uh, once again these people won't tell you that you have to do your own research they changed the bible to make him Michael the Archangel uh, this is interesting. 35 million mag uh, making far the most widely published magazine of its kind in the world. Uh, some other breakdowns here. The graphics department. Look at those couple of letters there. Uh, shows you how important they think of it to be. Uh, they produce over 50,000 hardcover books, 75,000 softcover books. About 100,000 softcover books per day. Some pretty interesting figures and breakdowns here. It's just a shame that they're putting out misinformation. Uh, the workers, all of them, uh, unsalaried volunteers, range from 19 to 92. I bet Don Adams isn't a volunteer, but he's paid quite well. And he's the head of the Watchtower organisation at the present time. So, as usual, the, the volunteers do all the donkey work. Whereas the people at the top will be the ones who make the money. Uh, where's that BC? They are BCE. Again, before uh, Christian era. Let's try and get away from that. 
it's uh, not very helpful. Uh, this woman, by the way, was raised a Catholic, and uh, she cleaned her life up, shall we say, and became a good JW. Um, I think what struck me when I was reading this, uh, and it also says that her mother thought it was wonderful she was now a JW. Her mother was in a false church, she came from a false church, and so neither of these two have ever had the truth. And uh, just because she's now no longer doing drugs in her life of crime, uh, from a moral point of view, I should say, doesn't mean that the Lord has worked in this person's uh, life. And uh, this chap from Russia also had a bit of a checkered past. And uh, the emphasis, once again, is on paradise. You're only going to go into paradise, people, if you're born again. You're only going to inherit the kingdom of God if you're born again. And this man stopped watching violent television, which again is very commendable, but it won't save you. Uh, I think my main problem with a lot of these people, I'm sure they're genuine and sincere, but the fact I believe remains that uh, they've just reformed their lives. Tom Cruise was uh, dyslexic. He joined the Scientology and he became... Uh, a non-dyslexic person, if that's the right term. Uh, there's a woman who works for the Daily Express. She converted to Islam, and she's no longer an alcoholic. These are reformed uh, sinners, but they haven't been regenerated. And uh, this chap's very happy that there's no such place as hell, which is a lie, straight from the pit. The Bible speaks about a hell, but unfortunately these people have been deceived, terribly deceived. And uh, the emphasis throughout this whole little pamphlet, as I've said, on other clips we've done now is all about how to be a good JW inherit the kingdom and live happily ever after you need to repent and be born again otherwise you won't be saved I thought I'd do a quick follow up video uh, to their latest magazine and I was looking for the part where they say they're non-political and uh, there you are they are non-political as I said they did have an office uh, or a seat at the United Nations and your average witness would not know that and in the future I've got a couple of former JWs uh, with a combined uh, membership of 37 years in the Jehovah's Witnesses looking forward to interviewing them in the future and uh, hopefully the Lord will bless that to bring others out would you welcome a visit well second John says not to allow these people into your house they don't bring the doctrine of Christ with them Please keep that in mind. Uh, the Bible through and through teaches us that only one God. And uh, Jesus said in uh, Matthew 19 there was only one God. And nobody else was good but God. And clearly he wasn't referring to himself. Uh, the scripture says only God has power to uh, forgive sins. And Jesus uh, never corrected that because Jesus is God. The word became flesh and dwelt among us. Uh, Paul said that uh, God was manifest in the flesh and in 1 Corinthians he's called the Lord from heaven. All the cults do this, they deny the deity of Christ, they blaspheme uh, the Holy Trinity, which I'm going to show you in a minute, from this, the New World Translation of the Holy Scriptures. This is probably the worst uh, monstrosity of a so-called Bible translation you are ever going to come across a lot of new Bible versions today which are very poor, but this really is the worst that I've ever come across. Let's take a quick look, look at some of the scriptures in here. Genesis, in the beginning God. Now interesting, they haven't called him Jehovah there. The Hebrew word is uh, Elohim, and they followed the AV, which has the correct rendering as God. Uh, look at this, in God's active force. That's your Holy Spirit, people. And uh, you were told in the New Testament you could grieve him and you could quench him. In Acts chapter 5, uh, a young married couple lie to the Holy Spirit. And uh, Peter calls that Holy Spirit God. And uh, if you look at uh, Romans chapter 8, he raised Christ from the dead. And uh, I'll show you from John 2 in a minute that Jesus Christ also raised himself from the dead. In harmony with uh, Galatians chapter 1, which shows that the Father raise Christ from the dead. Now I've had a lot of debates with JWs over the years and uh, about a year ago I suppose a group of them came to my house 
and I took them to Isaiah. Isaiah 9 verse 6, something we think about at Christmas. Unto us a child is born, a son is given. And uh, I said to these people, why is Jesus called Mighty God with a capital G? Whereas in John chapter 1, I'll show you in a moment, he's called uh, God with a lowercase g. Didn't get a very good answer from them. It's also called the Eternal Father. Whereas they believe that Jesus is Michael, the Archangel. So a JW, if he or she is honest with himself, is trusting in an angel to save them. But like uh, Muhammad is trusting in Gabriel to save him. Tragic, but uh, that is the truth. Uh, Matthew 24. Now, of course, the JWs believe that when Christ was raised from the dead, he wasn't raised in his old body, but given a new body. And uh, here you find in Luke 24, verse 39, that a spirit doesn't have flesh and bones. Another, another problem for the JWs. But uh, here we go, John chapter 1. And I remember showing this to a JW not long ago. And uh, they said, well... In 1 Corinthians, Paul says there's many gods, but we believe in one God. And I said, that's absolutely true. There are many false gods that claim to be God. But to us, the saved people, we believe in one God and three persons, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. In the beginning was the Word. Excuse me. In the beginning, the Word was. I'm so used to reading the King James. And the Word was with God. And the Word was a God. Look at that. Try not let this go out of focus. A God, what a, what a blasphemy. Uh, this one was in the beginning with God. Now in their, uh, their lexicon, I believe it reads that uh, the word was God. But of course that doesn't fit with modern uh, cultish theology. So they change that to a God. And uh, this JW that I was debating with this, was trying to show me that... Uh, other parts of their Bible, quote unquote, uh, allowed for that. I'm thinking of uh, Acts when Paul and Barnabas are trying to stop people from sacrificing. They thought they were Mercury and uh, that's not in there. It's been a while since I've been through their uh, so-called Bible, but I was trying to explain to this JW that uh, that pagans would believe in many gods. Pagans are polytheist, but like the JWs, they believe in two gods, and uh, just because they were uh, prepared to sacrifice to uh, these two apostles and the word was uh, they are the gods that have come down from heaven uh, didn't somehow prove that uh, John chapter 1 is the correct rendering it does not and uh, men far greater than I am who know Greek and Hebrew have written to the uh, Watchtower organization to show them this but they won't accept it uh, 1631 Acts believe in the Lord Jesus and you will get saved. Isn't that amazing? You will get saved. Now, the JWs, like all false religions, know nothing about uh, eternal security. They know nothing about once saved, always saved. And they make a big noise uh, against that. So to change that biblical truth, they have to change the text. And the JWs are notorious for doing that. And uh, as I go further and further through this Bible... I just find it more and more offensive. Uh, they are top heavy on revelation, prophecy, and yet, uh, unfortunately for them, they've made so many false predictions about the return of Jesus that uh, anybody who has studied their background doesn't give them the time of day. Unfortunately, most people who join the witnesses uh, are very ignorant. And I don't mean to be disrespectful when I say that, but the fact remains that they have come, uh, nine times out of ten, from a false religion 
and uh, have gone from one system into another system and have been deceived uh, twice. Just going to film the text here, and uh, so if you want to stop it and pause it, you're welcome to do so. This is filmed in high definition, so blow it up to full size screen, and the uh, text will be clear for you to view. They need to be saved, JWs, people. If you're born again and you love the Lord, please pray for these people. Don't just ignore them. Uh, don't cut them dead in the street. Uh, although, chances are they'll cut you dead on the street. But uh, they do get saved. As with Mormonism, the average time scale is about 12 years for JW to come out. It took me three years to leave the Catholic Church. And uh, for some JWs, they are in a position of authority and uh, influence and it's harder for those sort of people to come out they don't believe in paid pastors as such although I'm sure the people at Brooklyn get a good wage they have what's called kingdom halls not churches and uh, if you come across a couple of JWs be, be polite don't be uh, abrasive, don't be rude, be polite, but don't have them into your house and don't shake your hands, uh, don't shake hands with them once you've finished. Don't wish them Godspeed because they are bringing another gospel to you and the uh, Bible says we don't want to lose our reward at the judgment seat. So there you have it, the New World Translation of the Holy Scriptures and uh, maybe next time I'll do a bit more of an in-depth clip on this uh, alleged Bible. Okay, just to prove that I am still looking at the New World Translation of the Holy Scriptures. Uh, Matthew chapter 5 and uh, you have heard it was said to those of ancient times you must not murder uh, whereas whosoever says you despicable fall will be liable to the fiery Gehenna. Now, if hell isn't a literal place, which the JWs believe it's not, then uh, why does it matter? Uh, why does the Lord say that if you lust after a person, it's better to cut your hand and your foot off? Why bother? Why bother? Uh, I mean, if there's no literal hell, why do you bother? Why are you interested? Of course, Gehenna has been substituted for hell. The cults, unfortunately, not only spit in the Lord's face when it comes to his glorious deity, they also deny hell. So when Stalin and Hitler, Mao Zedong, Pol Pot, and all of those monsters died, they don't go to hell for their sins. They beat the rap. All of their victims uh, died for nothing because there's no justice. Crazy, but that's how they are, these people. They don't have any understanding of justice. And they say, well, you've lost your... Uh, Inheritance, if you will, and that's bad enough. Well, I've got news for you, uh, Mr. Witness, that most people don't want to be saved anyway. So uh, you've done them a favour by annihilating them at death. This is interesting. Now, every once in a while, even the cults shoot themselves in a the foot. Uh, we're in John chapter 5. And uh, the Lord uh, has been interpreted as making himself equal to God. Capital G. Now the Jews are monotheist. They believe in one God. And uh, Mark chapter 12 the Lord affirms there is only one God in line with Deuteronomy 6.4. So keep this in mind as we look at uh, another passage in this quote unquote Bible. Uh, we are stoning you not for a fine work but for blasphemy. Now look at it carefully. Even because you, although being a man, make yourself a God. What a remarkable statement. Do you honestly think the Jews would worry if he was claiming to be a God? One of many gods. The law of stoning was enforced for blasphemy. Go to the King James to get the correct reading. It says, because thou being a man makest thyself out to be a God. Capital G. What sort of spirit is behind the Jehovah's Witnesses. That's the question you need to ask yourself. I'm convinced that most witnesses are very sincere, genuine people, but they are deceived. And there's nothing worse than dealing with a deceived person, because a deceived person doesn't know that they are deceived. That is the truth of the matter. You can think that you're right. 
you can believe that you're right but unless you know the truth you're going to be uh, falling hard 858 most truly I say to you before Abraham came into existence I have been once again they have to uh, deal with the passages which talk about the Lord being the eternal I am the AV says before Abraham was I am that's why the Jews took up stones to kill him can't emphasize that enough because thou being a man maketh thyself out to be God uh, there are a lot of problems with this translation uh, Here's a good reference to prove from their own publication that the Holy Spirit is a person. Peter said, Ananias, why has Satan emboldened you to pray, excuse me, to play false to the Holy Spirit? That's a funny translation. To play false to the Holy Spirit. Should that be pray, I wonder? I'm not sure. Uh, you have prayed false, not to men, but to God. Now you see again, they don't realise that these two verses prove that the Holy Spirit is not only a person, but he's God. And Hebrews 9 says he's eternal. Before they used the uh, the NWT, they did uh, use the King James Bible. I often wondered how they got round uh, using the King James, because the, the AV does present the glorious deity of Jesus Christ uh, and the Trinity. If there is one God, one meter between God and men, a man, Christ Jesus, who gave himself a ransom for all. Again, the, the reading is quite different here, and they think by changing it and updating it, it makes it more popular uh, with people, but it doesn't really. So just a couple of passages I think you, the viewer, would like to look at. Uh, I'll close with uh, Second of John, as I gave you earlier. Now this is uh, a real farcical statement. For many deceivers have gone forth into the world. The person is not confessing Jesus Christ. Jesus means Jehovah saves. Christ means Messiah. Only God can forgive sin. And they completely miss it. As coming in the flesh. This is a deceiver and the Antichrist. That's you Mr. JW. You are an Antichrist. Your own book tells you that. But will you believe it? No, because you've been taught not to believe it. You read it, but you don't really understand it. So, my invitation to you, Mr. JW, if you're watching this video, is to repent, turn to the Lord Jesus Christ, get out of the uh, false witnesses, and become a true witness of the Lord Jesus Christ. Uh, Isaiah 43, I am Jehovah beside me, there is no saviour. Now did you get that? There is no saviour. Jesus means Jehovah saves. By believing on the Lord Jesus Christ, you are saved. Did you get that? There is no text in the New Testament where you are told to believe in God. You are told to believe in Jesus Christ. He is the saviour. He hung on the cross. Acts 20 tells that his blood was God's blood. He is God Almighty. Now I can't emphasise this enough. But of course, if you don't understand this, then you have been deceived. And uh, you will go to hell, according to Second Thessalonians chapter 2, because your heart is wicked, you are deceived, and the Lord will send strong delusion to those who will not believe the truth. So please repent, get out of the watchtower, it's religion, it's very divisive, it separates family members one from another, and... Uh, only people who are born again. Just ask a JW, are you born again? And you watch him change multiple colours. But just ask a JW, are you born again? And of course he says, no, I don't want to be born again. I want to uh, reign on the earth for a thousand years. Which will happen in the millennium, but you've got to be born again to <laughs> inherit the kingdom of God. And they completely miss the new birth, and therefore they remain in their sins lost and uh, we at this ministry don't enjoy that, and we pray for these lost people to be saved and reconciled to the Lord Jesus Christ.